Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Saturday, November 12th, 2016 by Gaia Blumi. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I nurture the source of my power. And today we have some more shift going on. We've had a lot of shift this week. We had Mars shifting into Aquarius this week. We had Venus move into Capricorn and today we have uh, Mercury move into Sagittarius. So it's like, you know, just right down the line, working together, <laughs> moving together. Um, but the interesting thing, we also have the moon shifting today, moon shifting into Taurus. So between Venus newly shifted into Capricorn, being at zero degrees through most of the day, Mercury shifting into Sagittarius, zero degrees, and then the moon shifting into Taurus, more zero degree energy, we have a lot of those zeros. And those zeros are the energy of transformation, those energies of wholeness, which includes the light and the dark. And a lot of times when we have that zero degrees, we feel kind of, kind of off. It's not like, oh, I know my path, I'm on my path. It's like, it's all, it's, the everything. It's the chaos of the universe that can come up and forth within us. And one of the things that came up for me is, you know, <laughs> so we have Mars already online in Aquarius. Like it's moving through. It's, I think, at two degrees, one degree, two degrees. Um, so it's moving through. It's got, it's got some momentum. It's got some motivation going. But with the other zeros that we have, it was like, we're thoughtless, we're careless, we're emotionless, we're robots. And we might feel kind of like that today in this zero as we're getting our bearings. And this is when you have to dig in even deeper and get real with the source of your power, the source of your light within you. When these energies that we're used to like kind of feeding us energy are kind of like in this transformation stage, who are you beyond the energies without you? Because you know what? These energies do influence us, but there's something more within and we get to ignite this fire and really draw and lean on this fire in this energy and nurture that sense of power. And then from that place, that authentic place, beyond illusions, <laughs> beyond projections, <laughs> you can really find out, figure out who you are. Um, so we have moon finishing up in Aries today. So that moon in Aries is connecting to Uranus, 21 degrees, degree of expansion. And this moon Uranus connection in Aries is asking us to get into who we really are. And I think this is so important right now, you know, as there's so much chaos going on around us, who are you amidst this chaos? And what vibration do you want to give up? How are you going to be true to you in this? It's so easy with these things around us, you know, to project on us, get beyond that illusion. Who are you? And how are you showing up in this energy? How are you taking action in this energy? Um, the sun is also connecting to Chiron, which means there's incredible healing available to us in this energy. And somebody said the other day that my cats distract them sometimes. I gotta say, he's totally distracted. I'm like, what's he doing? What does he see out there? <laughs> Who does he want to talk to that's hanging out outside the windows? Um, anyway, sun connecting to Chiron, also 20 degree energy. So nurturing and healing, deep healing is available to us. And you know, it's one of those things, patterns, wounds, repeat over and over until we get the lesson. What is our lesson in this time? And it's not just us as a collective. What is your lesson in this energy? And I think for a lot of us, it is about getting into the power, the lesson of really honoring and owning your true power and stop letting it be something that's outside of you. Um, so Mercury shifting into Sagittarius. Mercury in Sagittarius. So as a Sagittarius, Sagittarius is open. Sagittarius wants to know. Sagittarius is curious. And then Sagittarius wants to pass on and teach the information. And so for all of us, if over these next, you know, three weeks, Mercury moves pretty fast through a sign, we can get open. We can get curious. We can try to see the higher perspective. Try to see the other's point of view. And instead of fighting them and being like, I'm right, be like, I'm curious. I'm a caveman. Explain it to me. Come from that place of not thinking that you know so much. And from that place, we can come together. You know, there's a beautiful... There's some beautiful energies going on right now that are asking us to come together, that are asking us to get beyond our projections and illusions. And, you know, be patient with the process. I've been talking about this patience all this week. It keeps coming up. 
So how can you be in the process? How can you stay in your power? How can you stay in your joy? How can you stay in your love? We have this opportunity with Mercury and Sagittarius. And Mercury and Sagittarius can find the silver lining in the cloud. So always be looking for something to be grateful for. Always be looking for the silver lining and see how we can expand on those silver linings and make more silver linings and rainbows and glitter and all things. Um, <laughs> Sagittarius carried away. Uh, moon into Taurus. Moon is shifting into Taurus. Highlighting. <laughs> He has so much to say right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is what he's been doing at night, which is why I'm so tired. All right, so Moon into Taurus is highlighting our worth, and it's highlighting the sensuality of being on the planet. And so this Moon in Taurus is like, hey, oh my God, there's always, we're so lucky. If you're watching this video, chances are you have good food to eat. You are able to drink water. You are able to get outside in nature get into the sensual vibration of things get into the gifts of the planet and get juicy with it moon in taurus wants us to get juicy with it moon in taurus is connecting to venus so venus by this time will have shifted to one degree the love degree so this is a beautiful opportunity for love connection <laughs> but this is an opportunity to also Start valuing these things on the planet. Start valuing the things that make up your life. Start valuing the things that you surround yourself. Let the beauty you love be what you do. Get into that juicy vibration. The moon is then going to square Mars in Aquarius. And, um, <laughs> you know, this might be like, oh my God. You know, I, one of the things I see right now is a lot of the privilege guilt going on. And, you know, that's a thing. Don't get stuck in the guilt of things. That is a lower vibration. Awareness is beautiful. Guilt, guilt isn't necessarily awareness. Guilt, guilt's one of those lower vibrations that, you know, comes along with fear and not good enough and all those kinds of things. Shift beyond that and see how from this place of appreciating the beauty of your planet, of appreciating the bounty of goodness, oh, I so have a bounty of goodness card, that you can raise the vibration, shift the frequency, and take action from that place. So let's talk about the bounty of goodness. I have the elixir fruit card, and there we have two fruits with this little tongue in between. It's so Taurus. Oh wait, there's blackberries in the background too. And it says, um, against a bed of blackberries symbolizing the richness of the fruits of the earth, a mouth with a tongue extended emerges between the two peaches, representing the past and future taste essences. Excuse me, the card is a symbol of taking the taking of ambrosia, the taste essence of all things, the extract of each experience of the senses. It suggests that there is an organic remedy to all physical and psychological poisons. There is a remedy, and it is in pleasure. It is of the earth. It is of nature. It's of the sensual nature of things. And that good taste or real discrimination is the means for realizing such the faculty within the self. And so this is your opportunity to find the remedy, the remedy in the pleasure. And from the fairy tale oracle, I have a really cute card. I have the card of Snow White and Rose Red, sister love. And this is just talking about the connection between those that you love, the connection, the good things, and to, you know, work with that connection. Work with the connect people that you have this connection to, the people that you love. Hold that space. Find that goodness and expand upon the goodness. If you have goodness in your life right now, it is part of our responsibility to expand on that goodness. The world needs us. The world needs those who can hold the light. The world needs those who can hold the love. So we have an opportunity to do just that. Dance in the rain. Celebrate through the pain. <laughs> I mean, it's not about denying your pain. It's not about transmuting even the pain. It's about, okay, I've felt this. This is hard. And now I also feel this. And this is good. And this is where I want to go. And this is the path that I'm bringing. And this is the path that I'm loving. And this is how I'm going to expand this onto this planet. So that's it. Just that. <laughs> Book a reading if you'd like to dive in deeper into your chart. I have my reading sale up at guyblooming.com. Go check that out, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.